Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and I'm really glad to be back with you again today. And my post office box is 42 Hastings, Oklahoma, 73548. I'd love to hear from you. I want to talk to you today about the bald eagle. It is the emblem of the United States of America, and the reason for that, it has a long life. It has great strength, and because of its majestic looks, the eagle represents freedom, living on the tops of lofty mountains, strong wings that reach up to seven and a half wingspan. They're an nest can weigh and uh, up to their nest can weigh up to a ton or more, and they're ten foot wide and twenty feet deep. Sometimes, if you would look in those nests, and those that's pretty amazing. And because it's filled with a lot of debris, they gather up debris so they can raise their young. There is a process when the baby eagle reaches maturity and the mother stirs up the nest and the baby eaglets are learning to leave their comfort zone. And sometimes God stirs up our nest and he wants us to get out on our own and understand the will of God for our lives. God wants us to discover that. Then the mother eagle does something else, puts one of them under her wings and takes them for a majestic ride. They learn to trust their mother's wings. They learn to trust their mother. We need to learn to trust our Heavenly Father with our lives today. And then she drops that eaglet and the eaglet heads downward. If the eaglet continues to drop, then at the last moment the mother will swoop down and catch her. And then the process is repeated again until that baby eaglet learns to flap its own wings. God wants us to discover the will of God for our lives. The baby eaglet learns to trust her mother during this process. And when the storm comes in our life, God wants us to learn how to trust him and lean up on his everlasting arms. Isaiah 40, 31 says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Wait in the Hebrew means simply to bind together, to expect, to look patiently, to tarry. It teaches us patience and endurance. God wants us to have all kinds of endurance so that when we go through the storms, we're able to cope with these things and discover the will of God for our life. God wants what's best for you. He wants you to mount up with wings as eagles, and He will want you to run and not be weary, and He wants you to walk and not faint. And it is the will of God that God will stretch out His hand upon you and minister to you today. And I'm going to pray for you today that God will touch you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will minister to these people that listen to this video today. And I pray, Lord, if they need to get saved, that they will trust the Almighty God and that the hand of God will be up on them and the anointing God will be up on them in everything they do. I pray the Lord by your mighty power, you'll minister to them in a mighty way. If there are those that are listening to me that needs healing today, I pray in Jesus' name, you'll stretch out your healing hands up on them and heal them today. And by your stripes, we are healed. And I just appreciate you listening to this broadcast today. I would appreciate hearing from you. And may the Lord bless you and give you mighty strength today in Jesus' name. And I'll talk to you again the next time around, and may the Lord bless you.